And the Lord spake to Moses and said, Make to thee two trump silver trumps, beaten out with hammers, by which thou mayest call together the multitude, when the tents shall be moved, and when thou shalt sound with trumps, all the company shall be gathered to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the bond of peace. If thou shalt trump with one trump, the princes and the chief men of multitude of Israel shall come to thee. But if a longer and a parted trumping of two trumps shall sound, they that be at the east coast shall move their tents first. For sooth in the second sound and in like noise of the trump, they that dwell at the south coast shall raise their tents. And by this manner, manner other men shall do when the trump shall sound in the going forth. For sooth, when the people shall be gathered together, simple cry of trump shall be, and the trump shall not sound partingly. The sons of Aaron, priest, shall sound with trumps, and this shall be a lawful thing everlasting in your generation. If ye shall go out of your land to battle against the enemies that fight against you, ye shall cry with trumps sounding, and the bethinking of you shall be before your Lord God, that ye be delivered from the hands of your enemies. If any time ye shall have a feast and holidays and calends, that is, the first day of the month, ye shall sing in trumps upon the burnt sacrifices and peaceable sacrifices, that those be to, be to you in the remembering of your God. I am your Lord God. In the second year, in the second month, in the twentieth day of the month, the cloud was raised from the tabernacle of bond of peace. And the sons of Israel went forth by their companies from the desert of Sinai, and a cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. And the sons of Judah, by their companies, of which the prince was Nashon, the son of Aminadab, moved first tents by the Lord's commandment, made in the hand of Moses. In the lineage of the sons of Issachar the prince was Nathanael, the son of Zuar. In the lineage of the sons of Zebulon the prince was Eliab, the son of Helon. And the tabernacle was taken down, which the sons of Gershon and Merari bear, and they went forth. And the sons of Reuben went forth by their companies, an order, of which the prince was Elizer, the son of Shadur. For sooth in the lineage of the sons of Simeon, the prince was Shelemiel, the son of Zerashaddai. Soothly in the lineage of the sons of Gad, the prince was Eliaseth, the son of Duel. And the sons of Kohath went forth and bare the sanctuary, and they raised the tabernacle till to the coming of them. Also the sons of Ephraim by their companies moved their tents, in whose host the prince was Elishama, the son of Amihud. For sooth in the lineage of the sons of Manasseh, the prince was Gamaliel, the son of Pedajor. And in the lineage of the sons of Benjamin, the duke was Abidon, the son of Gideonai. The sons of Dan by their companies went forth the last of all the tents, in whose host, was the, prin in, in whose host the prince was Ahiazar, the son of Amishaddai. Soothly in the lineage of the sons of Asher, the prince was Pagiel, the son of Okron, and in the lineage of the sons of Naphtali, the prince was Ahira, the son of Enon. These be the tents and the going forth of the sons of Israel by their companies when they went forth. And Moses said to Hobab, the son of Raguel of Midian, his, his ally, either father of his wife, we go forth to the place where the Lord shall give to us. Come thou with us, that we do well to thee. For the Lord promised good things to Israel. To whom he answered, I shall not go with thee, but I shall turn again into my land in which I was born. And Moses said, Do not thou forsake us, for thou knowest in which places we owe to, owe to set tents, and thou shalt be our leader. And when thou shalt come with us, whatever things shall be best of the riches that the Lord shall give to us, we shall give to thee. And therefore they went forth from the hill of the Lord, the way of three days, and the ark of the bond of peace of the Lord went before them by those three days, and pervade the places of their tents. And the cloud of the Lord was upon or over them by day, and they went forth. And when the ark was raised, Moses said, Rise thou, Lord, and thine enemies be scattered, and they that hate thee flee from thy face. For sooth when the ark was put down, he said, Lord, turn again to the multitude of the host of Israel.